I'm gonna do a quick video on um, I'm gonna charge some biochar tonight. So what I've done is I've acquired um, 300 pounds of worm castings from worms, etc., here in, in Greer, South Carolina. And I've also acquired six five-gallon buckets of biogenic reagents biochar. And if you're interested in buying this biochar right now, it's on sale on Amazon. I'll provide the link below for $24.49 plus $4.49 for shipping and handling. And this is amazing, amazing quality biochar. This is not pre-charged, so it's pure straight biochar. So it has to be charged for 14 days ahead of time. So I've laid plastic down in, in this grow bed. I'm, I put down worm castings first. I'm going to cover that all with these six buckets of biochar, and then I'm going to cover it with worm castings. So this stuff is pretty powdery, so I'm going to water it down first. I'm going to load it into the bed, and then I'll, I'll get back to you in a couple minutes. The trick to um, making sure the dust doesn't get everywhere is what I do is I literally just put a water in the bucket and I just keep filling it up until the water actually starts to overflow the bucket like it is now. And it took me three times to actually do this. You'd be surprised at how much room there actually is. So you can see now the biochar is actually starting to float above. Now we actually officially have the bucket full. But I did this like for about two minutes. There's probably three gallons of water in here. That's how much space there is in the pores of the biochar. I mean, look at this. Look at how much water retention there is in this. It's pure, pure biochar. Look at that. That is some amazing water retention. Okay, three five gallon buckets gave me about an inch and a half. Let me get a better light. About an inch and a half of solid inch and a half to two inches I didn't really spread it out that nice but inch and a half to two inches of biochar I'm gonna add one more bag of worm um, castings and then I'm gonna put the R3 bags down and then I'm gonna add three on top to give you an idea of just how much air there is in these buckets of, of biochar so you know in the, in the molecules of the biochar itself literally I'm just pouring water as fast as I can. And as soon as you get to a certain point, you'll see it'll start bubbling. It literally, I don't know if you can hear that. It's slurping. That's literally all the water going into the air pockets of the biochar. There should be some amazing water retention abilities for this. Okay, this is what it looks like now. I have um, a layer of worm castings at the bottom. <clears throat> I then put three buckets, so 15 gallons of biochar in. Then I added two buckets, uh, two bags, these bags of worm castings that actually had worms in it, and four, four gallons of coffee grounds. I then added another three buckets and a remaining half of one cubic yard, uh, foot from another bag. I then topped it with three more bags of worm castings and another two gallons of coffee grounds and then I watered it in so I'm not gonna mix it tonight I may eventually mix it but I think just the sheer volume of microbial action that's going on in these worm castings since these worm castings are almost three years old it should really really charge this I will be making some compost tea some boogie brew to put over this in a couple days we're supposed to have a tremendous amount of rain so I'm gonna cover this up to try to keep some of the water away from it and, uh, and I will update you with the progress.